Hey everyone, Derek here. I hope you're all doing great and staying safe wherever you are. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded on YouTube, but I want to get back into the swing of showing you guys cool new Python content on a more regular basis. So if you have any suggestions for the coming videos, please let me know. In this one, I want to do a brief demonstration on how we can start visualizing Excel file data in Pandas and Python. So let's get started. Starting out, let's take a look at our Excel data. This data I found online, and I'll be sure to link it below. But it just looks like some information about products that are being sold by segments of certain countries. There's plenty of data to work with here, and be sure to download this if you want to follow along completely with this example. We'll jump over to a text editor, and the packages that we want to import for this example are Pandas and Matplotlib. If you don't have either of these installed, you can just install them using the pip installer. So we'll import pandas as pd, and we'll import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now that we have these imported, we just need to reference that Excel file so we can read in the data into our Python script. So I'll create a variable called Excel file path, and this will just be the relative path to that file. Since I'm working in the same directory, it will just be the name of that Excel file. Mine is called financial sample.xlsx. Once we have that, we can read it into a data frame, which is just the structure within Python that allows us to easily work with and analyze this data. So we'll use pd and then we'll call a method called read excel. Then we can just pass that excel file path into that method. Now, if we were to print df, we should get back a result in our terminal. Opening up a terminal, we can execute our script and make sure that we've read this in successfully. My script name is data visualization.py. Once that executes, we get back a result in the terminal. Even though some of the data here isn't displaying because of my font size and how big my terminal is, it's all loaded in successfully. Now that we have this data that we want to work with, let's go through three different kinds of plots that we can use very easily with the pandas package. The first of these is just a simple time series plot. So I'll comment out a line and say time series. A pandas series is similar to a column in Excel. It has an index and it has one column of values. So for a time series, we need to pull out one column and then plot that. For this example, let's say that we want to pull out a series of all the products made that are VTT from Canada and we'll use government as the segment. To do that in Python, we need to use something called a conditional index. With a conditional index, we can pull out certain values within our data frame depending on the value within that column. So that sounds kind of complex, but I want to show you that right now. We'll create a second data frame, and we'll call this one VTT Canada. And what this will be is we'll give it the information from this data frame that has all of our information here. So we'll say is equal to DF, and then we can index it by using LOC. This LOC method is how we can access labels, which are just column headings inside of our data frame. We'll use square brackets, and then we'll use parentheses inside of these. Now what we can do inside each of these parentheses is we can specify a conditional that we want to meet. So in our example, the conditional that we want is the data frame where the country is equal to Canada. Now, if we have a second conditional, which we do because we're looking for certain products, and also a segment, we can just use an and sign. Now, we'll specify the second conditional. We'll say within the data frame, where the product is equal to VTT. Finally, we'll do the same thing with a third set of parentheses, and we'll say within the data frame, where the segment is equal to government. These AND signs work just like how an AND statement would in Excel. If we wanted to use an OR statement instead of AND, we could just use this straight up and down bar. Since we're wanting an AND here, we'll just leave that as is. This line here should pull out all the information that we need to create our time series. If we wanted to sort so we could create our time series, we can do that by overriding the previous value. And we'll do that by saying that value is equal to the same value We'll use a method called sort values. And the keyword argument that it needs is by, and this will just be the column that we want to sort by. In our case, that will be date. 
Now we have this data frame sorted by its date, and we only have the information that we care about. If we want to plot it using a time series plot, we can do that like this. We can reference that data frame, and then we can say dot plot, and then we can pass in the values that we want. So x will just be the date, and y will just be any of those columns that we want. In this example, let's just say profit. Then we can say plt.show. We'll save our script, and now let's execute it through a terminal, or command prompt if you're on Windows. Once that executes, we see that we get back a graph that we expect. Now, let's go back to our terminal, and I'll comment these few lines out. Next, I want to show you how to create a bar plot. Let's say that we wanted to create a bar plot that had all the products and the sum of how many of those products were made. We can do that using a group by method. We'll create a new data frame called DF products. And all we need for this line is to reference that data frame, which was our initial one up here. And we'll use a method called group by. All this group by method needs is the column or the columns that you want to group on. For us, since we just want the sum of products, we can just pass in products here, and then we'll use the method sum on the end. So in Excel, we're grouping on the products and we're summing all the other columns. Now, if we wanted to create that bar plot, we could say DF products, we'll pull out a column by using an index, and this index will be the units sold. So we'll pass units sold in here. All this is doing is pulling out this one column that is now all grouped on this column. We'll plot this using the same method of plot, and then we'll specify the plot as a bar plot. Then we'll say plt.show. We'll save that and execute it. Once that executes, we see that we have a bar plot, and it has all the products sold by the product type. If you wanted to change that into a pie chart, we could. All we would need to do in that case would be to change this bar to pie. Then we'll hit save and execute it. Getting back that result, we see we got exactly what we expected. I know this video was quick, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of some of the data visualizations we can use with Pandas. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know and I'll be sure to make some. And that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on what you want me to build next, please drop those below. Until next time.